Welcome back, awesome Ashtoy fans and subscribers. I found a shop that has um, these egg toys or capsule toys in, and these ones I want to get because they're little figures that are approximately 118 scale, sort of androids. And they also, I also got a couple of bikes, fold up bikes for them too. I'm not sure if the androids are rare or the bikes are rare, but I got lucky either way, I guess. Though to be fair, I would have much rather had four of these. But uh, I think these might be rare because they're black. With the scope dog, the black ones were the rare ones. I'm not sure. So let's open these up. I've got some scissors here and have a look. Let's look at a figure first. I think the figures are all the same. Okay, is it just one tape? No, it's two tape. Oh, three tape even. Okay, so he comes out. I have to put him together. Okay, before I do that, let's have a quick look. At, oh, can't rip it, at this uh, here, and it shows us that there are indeed two bikes, a blue and a red, and I've got a blue and a red, and there are two figure colours, as the my figure colours are the same, which is the grey and black one, which I've got, and then there's a purple and white one, and these do look really quite nice. So it shows you how to do the bike on here, but this one is not a bike, and it shows the assembly for the figure so let me just do this first and we'll have a look at how it compares to some other 118 scale and we'll look at the articulation and so forth I'm really happy I found these, I saw them a while, about two years ago, three years ago online, I didn't know to get them from and I found them here in a shop and they were 30 RMB each, which is really quite cheap. Okay, so which one's got the instructions for the figure? It's still this one again. So this is the uh, head with no features. Okay, that's okay. And we have some joints here. Let's get these joints off first. In fact, let me wait since they are lettered. So this is D. And that's all D. And this is D again, so it makes no difference. Okay, his hands are here. He's got little pegs. I should have some a proper knife for this, not a pair of scissors. One and two. Hands look nice. They've got a uh, almost a gun grip, so it will hold some weapons but the plastic oh it's got some give quite quite a bit of give it's quite a loose plastic which means it won't snap so easily for putting a gun in there okay so we have this section has already got the feet in which have a ball joint so you get quite a good range of motion okay this is what I have no idea it must be the spine okay so let me make these first since I'm gonna have to use these in a moment not lose anything It's a bit stiff, there we go. So these are look like they're going to be maybe a little bit short for 118, but they're Android, so that's okay. Uh, but they will scale quite well, judging by the uh, lower leg, the knee, and the uh, foot there. But they're going to be a single knee joint, so that's still okay. It's not an issue. So how does this go? This will go upwards. Have a look, yeah, it has to go upwards, can't get any other way. And is that in? That appears to be in. That was simple enough. Okay, so let's do these other ones here, then I'll do the other side, and then I am good to start assembly. The other thing is, actually, really quite cheap if you want to get some joints anyway, but I think. I won't use these for customs, I'll just use the androids as they are. Maybe I'll buy some more and customize them because, again, it's really quite cheap. Okay, get these ones done as well. Oh. The nice thing is also uh, with the one I've got, the two that I've got here, the uh, grey ones, is that they're easy to paint. Or you're more inclined to paint them, whereas the purple and the uh, white one, you might want to leave it that way because it's probably the rarest, I think. But it looks quite 
nice so you may not want to paint it but these are very sort of blank which I quite like that okay let's get these ones in okay two more And then, one more, sorry, my nose is running. I'll have to blow it in a second. Ooh, charming. Okay, don't worry, if I blow my nose, I'll pause the camera for you. Okay, that's done. So let's have a look. So we have lower leg will have a joint going in, so it's a single knee joint. Is there any prescribed way? Does it show? Let's have a look. I would imagine it would be that way, so you get more... Um, what's the word? More room. Okay, that will go into a thigh. The thighs, let me just check. They are identical. There's no left and right. Okay, that makes it easy enough. That will just go on there. Okay, next one. Okay, and the next thigh. Is this way here? Oops, all right. Okay, so that was really quite easy. Uh, then we have a hip section. These will go into here and then they will turn into this. And I would imagine I'd want the short one in there, not the long one. So, long one into the thigh section here. Okay. Long peg into the thigh section, and then this goes which way? Have a look. Can't be that. Oh, is that way? Is that way? So this will go into here. Okay. Quite easy to build thus far. So far, so I'm quite liking this already. Nothing too complicated, and it's not easy to break. You can just take it apart again without much hassle so I won't open the other Android but I will open the bike to have a a look see at okay so he can do a full split as we can see very easily with this joint setup okay so let's stand him up okay so far so Good. Okay, there is a cover. Where is the cover? This is the cover for the groin section. Let's put that in. Very nice looking. Uh, this will go up into this section here. Like this. Does this have a joint? I don't know. Uh, the chest piece. Ah, it's an interesting way. It slides on, and there is a pin inside which goes to the hole there. So that's going to be quite accurate to get that in properly in. That has to fold out a little bit. And okay, easier than I thought. And that's looking really atmospheric, really accurate, and quite big actually. It might scale really, really well with 118 after all. Uh, head will just pop onto this, so that's fine. So it's gonna be no waste bend. Uh, oh, there is. This is getting better as I go along. Okay, let's get the hands in first. Do the arms have a left and right? Let's have a look. Yes, they do. So the joint will go onto the inside, which makes this the uh, his left arm. Let me just make him this. Well, that can't be right, because both these arms are exactly the same. Which is a bit disappointing. I was hoping to have opposites, but I guess it's cheaper to do the same like this. Never mind. Okay, let's put that on there. And then this will be exactly the same setup as the hips. Um, I think I've short into the arm socket this time, maybe. And long into the body. Uh, the same as the hips with the setup. You just put the joint in, you're going to fold it to the side. That will turn around, and then you can stick it, you can fit it into the actual 
body itself. Okay, this is really quite nice. I have to get quite a few more of these. This is really quite nice. Okay, so here he is. I'll stand him up nearer the camera so you can see. He's just a plain blank um, 118 scale Android figure. Posing is okay, just that it's a bit difficult getting the right position you want because there's a bit of bounce back on the actual joint so you move it this way and it comes back a bit so you need to be a bit more precise perhaps okay there he goes he's standing up there okay so uh let's get a idea of the scale i'll put next to it acid rain amm prospector perfect scale look at that that is a great 118. He's slightly. Looks almost identical in height. Maybe a millimeter taller. Fantastic scale. His articulation, I know, really is going to be great. Okay, so head has a left and right. It has a down and an up because in the ball. Shoulders, amazing because it goes all the way up. Um, elbow bend, this will be interesting. Let's see. He gets over 90 degrees on the elbow, which is pretty good. Um, waist pivots from the bottom, which is not ideal. There's not a pivot in the middle. It's not ideal because you get this little turn or this um, waist part sticking out there. And it also means if you do it too much, it's easy to disconnect. He has a bend, which he goes quite far forwards, or not too far. And he'll go backwards really far as well like this which is okay now when you unbend him it's slightly easy for the uh waist section to come out you could glue that but then you'll lose the twist um he'll get more than four splits on the legs he's a proper contortionist this guy here he'll go up like that uh forwards and backwards again because there's no nothing to impede it he'll get four splits again which is great Knees, let's have a look. These are single knee joints, so he gets 90 degrees because of the uh, sculpt. The forwards it will lock with the kneecap. Uh, ankles, ball joints, so he can go down, relatively okay. Up, yeah, it's pretty good. And he'll have a side to side as well. Uh, all in all, this is bloody amazing for the price. Really, really, really good. I am really impressed with this. I'm really happy I found them as well. Um, scale wise, is really good. Looks great. In fact, let me find a take the gun from AMM. See if he can hold the gun decently with his hands. The plastic might be a bit too loose to hold the um, to hold the gun. Let's look and see. His arms aren't quite long enough, maybe, or, yeah. So the hands can hold it, but it's a loose hold. And he's not got quite the articulation in the shoulders we'd like from a 118 to actually get to hold the gun as well as the actual acid rain figure, which is designed, what the gun is designed for. But he can hold a gun pretty decently, just that it won't be tight in the hand, which is the issue. But that's okay, you can find other guns he'll hold, and he'll hold pistols really nicely if they have a handle that's big enough for him, or her, which, or it, whichever uh, pronoun you want to use for a, an android, or cyborg android. There we go. Pretty damn good. Uh, I am impressed for the price. This is amazing. For those into customs or into robots, again, this is an amazing figure. I will stick him here where you can see him. And I will now open the, uh, let me put over here so he's not blocking everything. I'll open the, which bike? Let's open the red bike and see what that's like. Uh, uh, uh. So not only can you get the androids, you can get uh, these 118 scale bikes as well. Let me see. Okay. Well, that was. New? No, not new. Exactly the same, so there's no new information there. The bike is really easy, just got a just got a clip, a 
handlebars in and you've got to unfold it which has instructions for too. Let's get this open. And it comes with a helmet. It does look like a wheelchair when it's actually in there to be fair, but let's get that out. Okay, so helmet will just clip onto his head. Like that's very nice friction. Oops. As I say that it comes off. A nice friction fit, it fits on really well. He looks cool. Not sure why Androids you want to have helmets, but never mind. Let's put in there. Uh for the bike, all you've got to do, it says, is just unfold it, dong, 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 and it will lock into place. There is no chain, but that's okay. There's a kickstand, which can go, I'm assuming can be a um, change position. If not, it's a bit strange. Okay, it should be able to. It's got a, uh, there we go. It goes back, and then we have the seat, which fits in here, which has a mud guard. And the handlebars just fit on there very, very uh, easily. Yeah, this is a nice 118 scale bike. Put the kickstart stand down. And it won't stand up. No. Okay, it will lock that. Okay. Very simple bike. Looks nice. Foldable. Uh, scales well with him, and it will scale well with the uh, 118 Acid Rain. It's a bit big next to the 118 Acid Rain, actually, if I'm honest, but it is pretty groovy. Okay, so this is the uh, capsule toy. I've no idea what this is. It's all in Japanese, version 1.1. 1 .1. Um, I have seen a version with a go-kart. I'm not sure the go-kart is a capsule toy or not. Maybe that's someone else just added one in, but it looked quite cool. Um, these are really, really nice. I am going to pick up some more. Hopefully, I'll get more of the guys, less of the bikes. Don't really want the bikes, if I'm honest. Um, they're okay, but it's the guys or the androids here that I'm after. Because the possibilities for customizing, for painting, for using joints and parts and stuff is pretty damn good. Okay, so this is Awesome Action Toys signing out. Saying, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more Awesome Action Toys videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting. Bye-bye.